Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, The Key Is Me, and I am back again with another video. Now, I got a lot of requests for me to do another braidless crochet hairstyle, so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. As you can see, I put my hair in a ponytail. Make sure, I never really say this, but make sure your hair is moisturized when you're doing protective styling because you don't want to break your hair off. I received this hair from samsbeauty.com. I'll put all of their information down in the description box. This is the 2X Jumbo Senegalese Twist in the color 1B. And the inch on the hair is a 12 inch. And I use four packs for this look. Inside of each pack, you'll find 12 individual twists. I am starting from the back as always. Just going ahead and sliding it in my hair. I'm going to latch the twist on, make sure the latch hook is closed, and then pull it through. You want to make sure that you feel for the middle of the crochet twist so that you can pull it all the way through and then tie your knot. You can tie it once or twice. I believe I kind of switched it up. If I felt like it needed to be tied twice, I tied it twice, but one is good enough. I love the braidless crochet hairstyle. For those people that can't braid like me, this is the perfect hairstyle for you. Like I told y'all before, when I have my nails on, I am definitely not braiding my hair now. So just putting your hair in a ponytail and then latching the crochet hair onto your hair, it saves you so much time and energy. It only took me one hour to complete this look and I was done. All right, so moving on to the front, you'll kind of see me staggering the pieces, meaning I'm wanting the twist to lay on top of each other. That way, the one from the back can cover the one in the middle, and then the one in the middle can cover the one that's closest to my edges so that it can give you a seamless look. You'll see it more so than what I can explain. Sorry. <laughs> Also, you'll see that on the what left side of my head, from the way that you're looking at it, but it's the right side of my head, I went for the shave look. So it's like a false shave look to make it seem like my hair is shaved. I basically just swooped my hair all the way down and I didn't put as much hair on that side to give it that illusion. So this is what the hair looks like with just a twist before I unravel them. Beating this part up because I'm just undoing the twist. It was so easy for me to unravel these twists and the hair is so soft. It kind of gave me that twist out vibe with the natural hair. That's exactly what it looks like. Twist out goals because my twist outs don't look nearly as good as this. And as you can see, I just untwist it once. Like I'm not separating the curls because I want it to last as long as I can. You could actually separate the hair to make it a more fuller look. But again, if you separate the curls, I'm pretty sure it'll make it more frizzy and I didn't want to go for that look. But this is the finished product. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Mm -hmm.